I've seen a big greenback, oh, eh? Yeah. Nah, we're. <laughs> oh, no, we're good. Now we're good. Okay. Oh, I think they're chasing my lure, man. Oh, yes. They're on my lure yeah, straight lure. away. We've just arrived at the kingfish spot. Oh. Man, chasing my lure on the second cast. Holy heck, it's sloppy. Oh, you got a good one, man. They're big. Wow. Oh, you got a good one. I'm probably in your way here. I'll get out. Get away from the reef, buddy. Please. Yeah, he's going straight yeah, to the he's reef. Going back to nuts. Yeah. Now get a casting. Wow. Oh. I'll deal with this guy. I think I've got him away from the reef now. Anyway. Wow, first cast of my little rooster puppy. Oh, look, they're smashing. They're smashing the surface behind my oh, lure, oh, man. Stop, don't go that way. Oh, yeah, fish on. <laughs> <laughs> what? As if we've just pulled up at the kingfish reef and there's birds and fish everywhere. This is heavy, dude. I'm straight into a good king on the nomad. Oh man, god, they go hard. Your, I think yours is quite a big one, eh? Man, they were literally smashing the surface on my lure. And coming around this side. Man, these top water kings are something else. I don't even think mine's that big, but God, he's making me. Oh, look at them all. Oh. Get away from there, bro. Man, you called it with the moon and that too, didn't you? Oh, no way. Yeah. We're pretty close, eh? Hey? Oh man! We are right in the zone here. There's kingfish everywhere. Oh. Man, that's one way to kick off a session, Scott. <laughs> Oh, jumping kings! Jumping. <laughs> I seen that. You got him. Oh man, yours is a beauty. Oh. Mine's only a rat next to yours. Epic fish, man. I'm actually pretty keen for my one just to come off. We've got Scott's big one on the boat. Oh, oh. Kingy boys. <laughs> top, top of water kings. Whoa. What a way to start the morning. Second cast, we've seen so many kingfish already. This one absolutely smashed my lure. I'm gonna keep this one and I brought a few ingredients along this morning to make some sashimi. All right, welcome back to another Rush Gang fishing episode. I'm out here with Scott this morning. That was one hell of a start. Couple of kings on the board, first couple of casts. Pretty much, just want to have a good fishing session on lures this morning and I've brought a few ingredients along to make some bait boards sashimi. So that's the lure that I'm using this morning, a little Nomad, I think it's a Riptide. Wicked lure, I've caught a few kingfish on it so far and I haven't lost it yet. And I'm just using my normal old Brolis tackle rod, McPaddle. 
Look at the zone we're in, there's broken waves everywhere, birds, fish, it is all go out here. Pretty windy too. So we ended up calling the king fishing a bit short it's absolutely windy out there so we've pulled in close to the beach here taking a small chunk off the kingfish there i've got some crackers cheese tomatoes bit of soy sauce with us so i'll make a bit of a bait board feed before we punch it all the way back in this filler is looking absolutely beautiful so what i'm going to do is just try cut really thin bits of the kingfish just to put on the crackers How windy is it, eh? <laughs> Even in here. Is that a black magic knife? Oh, is it? No, wasabi knife. Wasabi? From black magic. Wicked little kitchen knife. Just have a couple each, eh? Yeah. Don't need, don't need to go too crazy. Breakfast snack? Breakfast snack. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably a bit early in the morning for this meal, but why not? It's got crazy out there. The wind just keep getting worse and worse. Even though the, <laughs> it's ugly, wasn't it? Yeah, even though the kingfish were right on, it just it was not pleasant at all. It was bordering on dangerous. Yeah, I think. it was dangerous. It was time yeah. to leave, that's for sure. All right, let's go put a kingfish here. That'll probably do for now. A couple of crackers. A couple of those. Do a bit of cheese. Try not to let anything touch the bait board because it's yeah, certainly <laughs> seen some fish in it. It's a little manky. <laughs> it's a little manky. That is soy and teriyaki. Oh, teriyaki. Yes, yeah, mix it up a bit. And all we need to do with the cheese. Should be pretty nice. It's only caught what an hour and a half ago, if that. If that.
bit of kingfish on each one. You put the sauce on before or after? Oh, I usually just do a drizzle just afterwards. A drizzle yeah, after, just a little yeah, dot absolutely. on it. It's probably going to make it an absolute mess, but clean her up after. Yeah, it hoses off. Yeah. Oops. Far out. Not that easy on a rocking boat, apparently. <laughs> Go a little dot of soy on each one, maybe do a couple with the teriyaki sauce. Couple of those. The Japanese teriyaki sauce. This is probably going to be nicer. This, this one. is gourmet, mate. Gourmet. <laughs> Man, it's windy. That's ridiculously windy. Yeah, so windy. I'm actually really glad we come in. Keeping the one fish was more than enough. Done. You gotta know when it's time to go. Yeah, you really do. Quick little taste test. So you go cracker, cheese, tomato, fresh kingfish, teriyaki sauce. Not bad. Does anyone ever say it's not it's not good? I've mm. never seen a YouTuber no. go, oh that's bloody terrible. It's actually probably a bit too oh, much okay. cheese, but mm. yeah, it's fresh. It's very fresh, yeah. Pretty good. Bit of kingfish. Like the meat actually looks really nice, eh? It's yeah. well, well bled. Yeah, it's actually very white the meat, isn't it? Mm. Which one were the soy ones? These ones, eh? They're soy. Yeah, they're soy. I'll try that one. The teriyaki is nice. They really are absolutely delicious. Good way to end a pretty windy morning. Good old Perth. If you like this episode don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one also i'll put the link down below to scott's channel make sure you check that out